Hi, in our skin tone, having uneven patchiness on the face is quite common. This patchiness can occur as dark spots on the forehead, dark spots on the side of the face and sometimes around the mouth. So in this video, I'll be discussing what are the causes for darkening around the mouth and how we can treat it. At the end of the video, I'll be telling you some home remedies that you can do in order to reduce the darkening around the mouth. I make videos on skincare and on hair transplantation. If such content is of interest to you, then please subscribe to the channel. Is video ko Hindi mein dekhne ke liye upar I card mein press kijiye. So what are the causes for darkening around the mouth? First is drooling of saliva. If while sleeping you tend to drool, then you get these vertical lines that extend from the side of the angle of the mouth up to the chin. Okay, so these lines can be present on both sides and will be prominent on the side on which you sleep more. So when saliva drools on your skin, it can lead to irritation of the skin, redness, which resolves with darkening. If while chewing or while speaking, you have saliva that gets stuck in the angle of the mouth, this can also lead to darkening of the angle of the mouth. Second reason is pursing or licking of lips. So if you have a habit of pursing your lips, licking and smacking your lips, then this can lead to darkening of the lips as well as the area around your mouth. Habitual rubbing of the skin around the mouth can also lead to darkening due to friction. Even perioral dermatitis can lead to darkening around the mouth. Perioral dermatitis is a common condition which occurs mostly in middle-aged women. It presents as small multiple papules and pustules around your mouth. So you can develop multiple red dots on your face and sometimes even pus points. It is usually asymptomatic but sometimes it can lead to irritation, kind of a burning sensation and sometimes even itching can occur. When these lesions resolve, they can also lead to darkening around your mouth. If you're using steroids on your skin for minor conditions such as just a little bit of irritation or scaling around your mouth, if you have a habit of using steroids on a regular basis, then when you stop using the steroids, there can be darkening in this area. So you really want to avoid using steroids around the mouth. Even acanthosis nigricans can lead to darkening around the mouth. So along with darkening around the mouth, if you have darkening in areas such as the forehead, the size of the face, the neck, armpit and groin, this could be acanthosis nigricans. In acanthosis nigricans, along with darkening, you also see thickening of the skin. So the skin might appear a little velvety and thickened. But initially when it starts, it just starts as dark patch around your mouth. There may not be any thickening, but over time you may notice that the skin has thickened and is appearing more velvety. There's a condition called macular amyloidosis in which you can see darkening around the mouth. So in macular amyloidosis, you see these dark patches on the upper part of your back, on your forearms, mainly on the extensor aspect and also around the mouth and sometimes on the forehead as well. So in macular amyloidosis, there is deposition of a substance called amyloid in the deeper layer of the skin, that is the dermis. So this amyloid is deposited in the upper layer of the dermis. This is why there is hyperpigmentation seen on the skin. This is a very difficult condition to treat. This condition usually runs in families. So if you have darkening around the mouth, along with darkening on the upper side of the back, as well as arms, it could be macular amyloidosis. Even contact dermatitis can lead to darkening around the mouth. You could be allergic to cosmetics that you use, or even toothpaste, or any kind of lip care products that you're using. If you are allergic to these agents, there can be irritation, redness, and darkening around the mouth over time. So if you have any kind of redness or irritation while using your cosmetic products and toothpaste, then you want to stop using them and consult your dermatologist. Even intake of medications can lead to darkening around your mouth. This is known as fixed drug reaction. So you may have an allergy to certain drugs such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents or even certain antibiotics, certain tetracyclines. These can also lead to darkening around the mouth. You may have fixed drug reaction which means that every time you take a medicine you develop a round red lesion around your mouth. So when these lesions heal, they leave behind dark patches on the skin. So if you have noticed darkening around the mouth after taking certain type of medicines, you want to stop taking the medicine 
and also bring this to your doctor's notice. Dapening around the mouth could also be constitutional, meaning that there is no underlying cause, but there is an unevenness of the skin tone without any real reason. This tends to run in families. If you have family members with darkness around the mouth, around the eyes, then there's high chance that even you will develop this. So how do we treat darkening around the mouth? Once we find the cause, we have to take proper measures in order to treat the underlying condition. So I'll be discussing the treatment according to the cause. So first, drooling of saliva. So if you have drooling of saliva, then you want to apply a thick moisturizer around your mouth before you go off to sleep. So every day before going to bed, you want to apply a thick moisturizer, a bland moisturizer like a Vaseline petroleum jelly around your mouth. This will help in protecting the skin so that the saliva is not going to irritate or darken your skin. If you have a habit of pursing your lips, rubbing or licking your lips, then like I said before, you have to break this habit. That is the only way that the skin can heal and then the darkness can lighten over time. If you have perioral dermatitis, then you will have to be on certain anti-inflammatory medications in the form of oral tablets or even creams such as tacrolimus. This has to be applied for about a month to six weeks till the lesions resolve. You want to make sure that you're not using any steroid cream on this area as well as not using any fragranced products. So you don't want to stay away from fragranced and colored products if you have perioral dermatitis because you could react to it. If darkening is due to history of steroid use, then you'll have to stop using the steroid cream and also use other anti-inflammatory creams such as tacrolimus around your mouth along with use of moisturizers and sunscreens. Whenever you stop using steroid cream, this area tends to get darkened and becomes more sensitive to the effects of sun. So you want to make sure that you protect this area by applying ample amount of sunscreen before you go out. If darkening is due to acanthosis nigricans, then we have to check your fasting and postprandial insulin levels and fasting and postprandial blood sugar levels. If your insulin levels are raised, then you might have to take metformin tablets for a period of about three to six months. Once your insulin levels get controlled, the skin does tend to get lightened. Along with intake of metformin tablets, you will also have to lose weight. Okay, so your BMI needs to be below 25. So you'll have to make certain lifestyle changes to keep your weight under check. Macular amyloidosis is very difficult to treat. Because this amyloid deposit is present in the dermal region, it is very difficult to get rid of it without injuring the skin and causing scarring. So this may be a difficult condition to treat. If you have contact dermatitis to cosmetics and toothpaste, you will have to stay away from use of cosmetics, use only bland moisturizers and also use a non-fluorinated toothpaste. If the darkening is due to fixed drug reaction, you will have to make a note of the medicines which is implicated and have to avoid using them and search for an alternative. If there is no underlying cause for darkening and it is constitutional, then it is very difficult to treat. We can use few skin lightening agents to help in lightening it. It may never completely go away, but we can improve it to a certain extent. So what creams can help in reducing the darkness around your mouth? Creams containing kojic acid, arbutin, niacinamide, or vitamin C can help in reducing the darkening around your mouth. So you could go for creams such as Clear Z cream, Biluma cream, Kojivit cream, or even Demelan cream. We have a detailed review on Demelan cream. You can click on the iCard above to watch. You have to make sure that you use these creams for at least six to eight weeks in order to see improvement. Darkening around the mouth, responds very slow to treatment. You will not be able to notice improvement within a few weeks. So you have to be very diligent with treatment and use these creams regularly for at least two months before you can see improvement. If you have darkening along with redness around your mouth, you may have to use certain creams that contain tacrolimus, which helps in reducing the inflammation and calming your skin down so that it heals without darkening. I suggest you visit your dermatologist if you have any kind of redness around your mouth. As with any other condition where there is darkening, sunscreen is a must. So you have to apply sunscreen regularly on your whole face and make sure you apply liberal amount of sunscreen around your mouth. If you have sensitive skin, you want to stick to a plain zinc oxide sunscreen such as a Sunstop Silk sunscreen or a Z-Screen sunscreen. 
these sunscreens contain only zinc oxide and you'll be able to tolerate it better. Even mild chemical peels can be done to reduce the darkening around the mouth. We can use lactic acid or low concentrations of glycolic acid. Sometimes even mandelic peels, arginine peels can be done in order to reduce the darkening. You will have to take multiple sessions of these treatments, sometimes about four to five sessions spaced at two to four weeks duration. You will have to follow strict sun protection and use skin lightening agents whenever you are taking chemical peels. You could also go for a few sessions of Q-switched NDAG laser. So this laser tends to break down the pigment into small fragments. Then your body cells will remove these fragments from the skin. After taking multiple sessions, you'll be able to notice lightening of the spots around your mouth. If none of these modalities help or you want to tie it over the period in which the results of the modalities haven't completely set in, then you can use certain camouflage creams to hide the darkening around your mouth. So you can use concealers and foundation in a very small quantity just on the dark spots. You can also use certain color corrector concealers like if you have redness you can use a green concealer or if you have darkening you can use a concealer with a slightly reddish or an orangish hue. This will help in reducing the appearance of darkening around the mouth. Now I'll tell you certain home remedies that you can do to lighten the skin around your mouth. You can rub a sliced tomato around your mouth. Tomatoes have lycopene in it. This tends to lighten the skin. So you can just slice a tomato and rub it around your mouth. Leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and wash it off with cold water and apply a moisturizer and sunscreen. You can do this every day. In about four weeks, you'll be able to notice an improvement. You can also apply potato juice around your mouth. So grate a potato, squeeze it, take the juice out and apply it every day at night around your mouth. You'll have to do this every day for about four to six weeks before you can notice improvement. You can also use a mixture of curd and honey and apply it around your mouth. Curd will help in lightening the skin and honey will help in soothing the skin out. So if you have a little bit of red bumps or any kind of itching or irritation around your mouth, honey will help in soothing that down. So you can apply this mixture Leave it on for about 20 to 25 minutes and wash it off with cold water and immediately apply a moisturizer. So there you go, a detailed video on darkening around the mouth. I hope you found this video useful and you could learn something from it. If you like such skin and hair related content, then you can follow me on my Instagram handle Dr. Achil MD. I post such skin and hair related content daily. Thank you for watching.